Hi everyone, if you've ever had neck pain, sharp neck pain where you can't turn your head all the way, even aches down your arm, you're gonna wanna watch this video. This gentleman here from Australia, right? has very, very stiff neck, can't turn his head, just came in yesterday for the first visit. I wanna show you or explain what that is. So if you've ever woken up and you know, your neck, you can't turn it and it's real stiff and painful and it's a sharp pain, it's most likely a subluxation in your neck or in your upper back. So what we're doing here is we're first lasering around that area of the spine to calm down some of the pain that he's got down the left arm. Now it doesn't go past your elbow, correct? Correct. Yeah, so it just goes in the upper arm and the nerves in our neck control the sensation in our shoulder and our upper arms, our lower arms, even our fingers, okay? And it also controls the muscles in our arms. So the bicep, for example, is controlled by the sixth nerve, number six, in the cervical spine. So just to give you an example, the seventh controls the tricep. So I can tell by sometimes where the pain is, there's tests that we can do, neurological tests that we can do. And what's going on with him is he's got several subluxations here in the upper thoracic spine, limiting his range of motion in the neck, and it's just gotten worse. And this is uh, something that's been happening slowly over time for him. And you've done past chiropractic care? No, I haven't. You haven't. So I'm his first chiropractor. I'm going to assume you used to, what, just do stretching on your own and just kind of get through it on your own, take some Advil sometimes? That's right. Yeah. So the danger of doing that and not listening to your body's warning signs are arthritis and degenerative changes. So I would say we did not x-ray him. We don't x-ray every everybody that walks through here with pain down the arm because if he hasn't had any specific trauma, we probably won't x-ray him. So we're gonna get him better in the next couple of weeks here. And if it comes back or he has a relapse at some point, whether it's this year, next year, he should then have an x-ray done just to look at some of the degenerative changes there in the spine. And he probably also has a disc bulge or herniation somewhere in the neck. He used to be an athlete, professional athlete. Yes, yeah, cyclist. Professional cyclist back in the Lance Armstrong strong days? Yes, the good old days. Yeah, so it's important to listen to the warning signs of your body and, and take care of it at that point and investigate. And taking Advil is not a good way to do that. That's just covering up your symptoms. That's like driving down the road. I always say this and your oil light comes on. It's like coloring over it with a black magic marker, or putting a sticker over it. You wouldn't do that. You would pop the hood and change the oil, right? So what we're doing here is cold laser therapy over all the subluxated areas and the nerves to calm or inhibit the nerves. So we have a long holiday weekend here and we're throwing everything we can at it today to try to make his holiday more comfortable and he's been nice enough to let us shoot this video for you guys to educate you guys a little bit. So a subluxation, what is that? It's a misaligned vertebra putting pressure on a nerve or irritating the soft tissue in that area. Now look, how's that? A lot looser, yeah. Yeah, so we just lasered this. That's all we've done so far for him. And we could have him sit up and kind of move his head and neck around, see how it feels just from the laser without even adjusting him. If you want to do that, you can. If not, I can go ahead and start adjusting you. Let's go straight to the Let's adjustment. go right to yeah. it. I hear you. Okay. So he's really misaligned here in the upper back. So we're going to go ahead and start there. I'm going to have you turn over on your back. Okay. Uh, slide down a little bit for me. Keep going. Yep. Man, cross your arms in front of you. Okay. Tuck your chin down. Take a deep breath in. Tuck it all the way down. Come on up. Half a sit up. Yep. Right there. And blow all the way out. <sighs> Head back. And again, good, and blow out. Keep that chin tucked. Drop the head back. Okay. Now, because we know he has a pinched nerve, we're gonna do a little bit of traction on him as well. So what I just did there was adjust the upper thoracic spine, very difficult area to adjust and manipulate, especially because it's so tight for people. Were you sore, by the way, after yesterday's adjustment? No, I've actually felt better. Okay. Yeah. Good. Relax here. There's a lot of ways to do traction. We have mechanical traction. And then we have the Y-strap. 
mechanical traction, lift your head up, is really called spinal decompression. They're the same, it's just one is manual, one's mechanical. That's the only difference. So this right here, the Y strap helps to decompress the discs and take pressure off the nerves. So it's really good for someone that has a pinched nerve radiating down the arms, hands, or fingers. And a lot of times you'll see people on YouTube yanking on people's neck and that makes me cringe. I would not do that, especially your first time having this done. You want to test the patient. Some disc herniations be made worse by doing that. So not a good thing to be yanking on it. A gradual pull is good, just like this. How are we doing there? Any, any increase in pain down your arm? No. There you go. And you want to just check on the patient periodically. If a chiropractor starts pulling this and yanking on it, I would go to another place. That's just not the proper way to do traction. You know, you, you gradually do it. You test the patient out the first time. And then the second time they come back, you can use a little bit more of a pull, a little bit more force. But again, you're not going to yank on it hard like that suddenly and jerk it, right? You don't want to do that to your neck. Some patients are a little bit lighter, so you may see them slide a little bit across the table, but you don't want to see them suddenly move up the table while the doctor's yanking on this. Good. Now, turn over on your stomach. So now, what we're going to do is soft tissue. A lot of times I'll do the soft tissue first uh, before the adjustment, but in this situation, the laser really loosened up the soft tissue well enough for me. There are a lot of ways to loosen this area up here to help yourself. And one of the best ways is a lacrosse ball. So if you don't have one, go on Amazon, buy one for a couple of bucks, and check out the videos I've done on that, how to stretch your upper back, the lacrosse ball. Really simple stretch. And I'll give you a lacrosse ball today. Okay, come on up. Why don't you sit up, and let's have you turn your head left and right. See if you're able to do that easier. That's fine. Oh, that's much better, yeah. So he was going to about here, 45 mm -hmm. degrees mm -hmm. yesterday, maybe 50. Right there. It's a lot more than yesterday. yesterday. Sorry, he was going, you were going about 25 yeah. degrees yesterday. Yeah. You went to 90 there. Nah, still a little bit limited there. Okay, uh, go ahead and lay on your back. So there are a lot of different soft tissue techniques that could be used. There are, comp what I used was a vibration type technique. There's scraping right there's trigger point those are all more compression type techniques and then there are decompressive techniques like cupping right so so many different types of uh, soft tissue techniques all of them work some work better than others for some people so good to test that there's a reason why i decided to do the soft tissue work after we did the traction for him relax yourself here Relax this uh, right shoulder for me. Good. And take a deep breath in. Good, and blow all the way out. Relax here, relax that left shoulder. All right, go ahead, sit up, turn to the left. Let's have you turn your head and face to the left. Okay, it's, it's almost there, 5, 10 degrees away. We're, we're almost there. That's it, folks. Thanks for tubing in. Thanks for Thank you. Having a, letting us it. shoot a video. It. See you soon, guys. Thank you guys so much. If you got anything from this video, or even if you just like this view of the Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building, give me a like, and don't forget to subscribe. Appreciate you guys.